Hello mga math enthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema nyo sa math. And for today's video, nandito pa rin tayo sa conducting a statistical mini research pero dahil maraming nagre-request, ayoko na sanang gawan ito ng tutorial. Pero sige, dahil medyo nahihirapan kayo, iga-guide ko kayo ha. Pero mga anak, disclaimer lang, hindi si Teacher Maria grade 10 teacher ha kaya itong ipoprovide ko sa inyo ay ayon lang sa aking nalalaman ha pero okay na rin naman siya, maigaguide ko na rin kayo, intindihin nyo lang mabuti pero uh, gumawa pa rin kayo ng sarili nyong example ha, guide lamang ito okay, pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan, ang like button, sige na mga anak for the effort at syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin nyo na, pindutin nyo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit nyo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, for your assessment part, turning task number 3, eto yung situation. Be a researcher. Body mass index is a person's, ah, no, the title is be a researcher. Okay, body mass index is a person's weight in kilograms divided by the square of height in meters. A high BMI can be an indicator of high body fatness. So, BMI can be used to screen for weight categories that may lead to health problems. So, the TLE and MAPI teachers usually have a record to this. Make a mini research about the nutritional status, status of the grade 7 students of your school. Apply the knowledge and skills you learned in this lesson. Like for instance, you will identify the percentile of severely wasted grade grade 7 students and what recommendation you can give based on your findings. Now, follow the steps 1 to 5 until you have the final drop of your statistical mini research. Okay. So, natatandaan nyo, yung background of study, gagawa kayo or mag kakanda kayo ng uh, research about doon sa kung ano ba yung dapat na maging laman ng inyong study o yung background ng yung study nyo. Okay? For example, dahil ito ay tungkol sa uh, health, ang kinuha kong pwedeng maging background of the study niya ay about nutrition. So, nilagay ko dito, nutrition is very important aspect of human life, uh, human health, life and, life and brain development. It is essential not only for endurance, hindi lang sa endurance and physical growth, but to cognitive development and productivity. So, mahalaga din siya sa pag-develop uh, ng ating mga brain. So, many records stated that malnutrition is considered one of the problems that that affects the ability of students to learn and cause them to perform low in school. So, uh, sinasabi ng mga records, kasi nga nag-research kayo, so nakita nyo na, ah, marami palang records na nagsasabi na kapag uh, hindi maayos yung nutrition mo or kung hindi ka healthy, maaapektuhan yung pag-aaral mo kasi hindi ka masyadong nakakapag-isip, ganyan. So, magiging low yung performance mo sa school. Dahil maaapektuhan nun yung performance mo sa school, kaya ngayon papasok si teacher. Thus, teachers need to know the health status, status of the students. Okay? Or you, the researcher, pwede nyo lang din ilagay dyan. Thus, the researcher, okay, kasi hindi naman teacher ang nagre-research dito. So, thus, the researcher need to know the health status of the students. O, sige nga, ilagay natin na researcher na lang dito. Kasi kayo yun. Researcher need to know the health status of the students. So, the researcher researcher will identify who among the students are considered severely wasted. So, dapat ma-identify ng researcher. Anong spelling to? Wait. Ayan, nasa na tayo? Who among the students are considered severely wasted? Yun nasa situation natin. Dapat ma-identify nila. And make a 
feeding program that will help them improve their health status. So, syempre, pag nakita na nila kung ano yung health status, kung sino yung mga estudyante na severely wasted, dapat makapag-provide sila ng feeding program dun sa mga batang yon para ma-improve yung health status nila. At syempre, ma-improve na rin yung performance nila in school. So, yan yung background of the study. So, medyo uh, ganyan yung magiging dating dapat ng background of the study nyo. So, mag-search kayo ng iba pang mga information about that. Okay, next, the statement of the problem. This mini-research will help the researcher determine the health status of grade 7. O, kasi nga grade 7 yun nandun sa situation natin. ODL, so sa mga online students sa ha? Section results. So, nilagay ko kung ano yung section nila. Result students at Maria Gracia National High School for school year 2020-2021. So, dapat nakalagay anong school at sa anong school year. Dapat kompleto yan. Okay? So, ano ba yung significance ng study nyo? Gaano ba siya ka-importante? Okay? So, by doing this research, the researcher will be able to identify those students who are severely wasted and provide them a feeding program that will help them improve their health status. O, kaya mo siya ginagawa para nga ma-improve yung health status nila. So, very significant yung magiging research. Okay? Okay, next part is yung methodology. So, yung research design natin is the same katulad nung sa uh, una nating sample. So, this, quantitative this is a quantitative research, documentary analysis, analysis and purposive sampling was used in conducting this research. Kasi, purposive siya kasi... Kung ano lang yung ano, yung hawak dun sa section na yun, yung... Uh, magiging participant natin. So, bakit mabini? Ito, result pala yung ginamit ko. O, so, dapat pare-pareho ha. So, grade 7 ODL students section result at Maria Gracia National High School. Sila yung magiging participants and respondents ko. So, data gathering. The data were taken from the teacher's BMI record. O, kung kunyari ako yung studyante, pwede ako mag-request din sa teacher ko sa TLE or sa teacher ko sa MAPE tungkol dun sa BMI record nila. Okay, para magamit ko. And now, for the statistical treatment, gagamit ako ng mean average and percentile rank. Okay. Now, kung may makukuha kayong data or may bibigay si teacher nyo na data, yun yung gamitan, gamitin nyo ha. Kunyari, uh, gumawa kayo ng interval ninyo, tapos ilagay nyo yung frequency ninyo. Pero dahil wala naman akong estudyante at ayoko nang mag-isa-isa, diniretso ko na dito yan ha. Kung saan naglagay ako ng mga possible frequency for class interval ko ha. O hindi to score. Wait, wait, wait. So, ito ay... Wait. Ayan, wait ng mga estudyante na yan. Okay, tapos ang class, in, ang interval natin ay hindi 5. Okay. So, let's start. Ano ang interval natin dito? So, 10, 11, 12. So, meron tayong in, interval na 3. Okay? Wait lang, ha? So, 10... 11, 12. So, ang interval natin ay 3. 13, 14, 15, 3 ulit. 16, 17, 18, 3 ulit. So, lahat yan, ang interval ay 3. So, for the lower boundary, we just have to subtract point fine for the lower limit. So, ito ay magiging 27.5, 27.5, and 9.5. Gumawa kayo ng sarili nyo given ha. Huwag nyo itong kopyahin. Yung procedure lang yung pinakikita ko. Okay? For the less than cumulative frequency, alam na alam nyo na to. So, start tayo with 4. 4 plus 15, we, we have 19. 19 plus 6, ilan yon 25. 25 plus 10 is 35. 35 plus 10 is 45, 45 plus 3 is 48, and 48 plus 2 is 50. So, ang number ng students sa grade 7 result ay 50 students. Now, let's go for the midpoint. Dahil alam naman natin na tatlo lang naman ang interval natin. So, yung gitna, siya yung magiging midpoint natin. So, after the number, yun susunod, yun na yung midpoint ha. Or you just have to add 10 plus 12, you have 22 divided by 2, that's 11. Pero matagal pa yun. So, i-technic na lang natin. 13, 14, 16, 17, 19, 20, 
29, ha? Okay, after lang nito, yun lang yung ating midpoint kasi 3 lang naman yung interval. Okay, and then we have to multiply yung frequency natin and yung ating midpoint, okay? So, we have to have our calculator. Okay, hindi ko na ipapakita yung calculator natin, ha? So, you just have to multiply 4 times 11, that's 44. 15 times 14 is 210. 6 times 17 is 102. 10 times 20, and dali lang, 200. 10 times 23 is 230. And then, 3 times 26, that's how many? 78. And then, 2 times 29 is 58. Okay. And then, we have to have the summation of that para mamaya sa ating mean. Okay. So, adding it all, pag in natin lahat yan, hindi ko na rin ipapakita. This will be 922. Okay. And then, let's go to the mean. O, okay, okay, mga anak ha. Ang mean natin is this one. Ang nailagay ko ata dun sa unang video natin ay 50. Okay. Ito ay N ha. Depende kung ilang number of students yung na-interview or naging respondents mo, yun yung ilalagay mo dito. Kung nagkataon na 40, edi 40. Kung 30, 30. So, eto, magvavary siya ulit. Depende sa kung ilan yung respondents mo. So, since we have the summation, which is 922, okay, divided by 50, kasi 50 nga sila. So, ang average natin will be 18.44. Okay, so yan ang average ng ating weight. Okay, now kung titingnan no, okay, ito yung uh, ano, table kung paano ba natin malalaman or kung paano natin ma-interpret yung mga ating mga uh, weight. Okay, kung siya ay less than 15, severely wasted na siya. Kung 15 to 18, wasted. Kung 18.5, uh, 18.5 to 24.9, normal. So, check natin. Ang nakuha natin ay 18.44. So, wasted ang mga estudyante natin, yung mga na-interview natin. They are not normal. Oh my God. So, mga payat sila. Okay? Ang kanilang mga weight ay hindi normal. Okay, now let's go to to the percentile rank. Okay, dahil dun sa situation natin, ang hinahanap ay uh, severely wasted at ang nakalagay dito, less than 15, yun yung mga severely wasted. So, ang kukunin natin, using the percentile rank, we are going to determine how many students got the weight below 15. So, alamin natin, ilan ba yung below 15? Thus, we are going to get the percentile rank of 14. So, yung 14 yung kukunin natin, which is between 13 to 15. Okay, looking at that, ba? So, ang weight na 14 yung kukunin natin. Kasi less than 15 yung severely wasted natin. So, nandito yung ating uh, hinahanap. Okay? So, ano yung lower boundary natin dyan? 12.5. Oh, sige, lagay natin sa formula ha. So, we have here 100 divided by 50. Tapos, yung P natin will be 14 minus 12.5. Okay. And then, anong frequency nun? Tignan nga natin. Ang um, frequency nun ay, okay, 15. Okay. And then, ang less than cumulative frequency niya ay 4. Okay. So, let's have... 15, so times 15 over ang interval natin ay 3 plus 4. Natatandaan? Okay, so 100 divided by 50 is 2. <laughs> Sorry, baliktad. Okay, what is 14 times uh, minus 12.5? Oh, gawin na natin dito. 14 minus 12.5. Okay, this is the answer. Times 15. Okay, and then divided by 3, that will be the answer, plus uh, 4. So, you will have 11.5, okay? So, yung 11.5, ita times natin sa 2, so that will be, this is 22, 23. Okay, so 23% ng total ng grade 7 natin ay, ano, 
severely wasted. So, paano natin siya i-interpret? Okay? So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Therefore, nag-teka pa si Mami, no? Wait lang, ha? Therefore, ano to? 23% of the class has a weight. Okay, a weight of less than or equal to 14. So, 23% sila. Medyo madami-dami. Okay, now, results and findings. So, the class has an average weight of... Teka, delete ko lang to ha. Ano yung average natin? 18.44. Okay, so, tinipe ko na ha para hindi matagal. 18.44. Okay, and then, blank of the ODL class, Mabini has a weight of which is equal or less than. So, 23% of the ODL class, a section, Rizal. <laughs> Bakit ba naaalala ko si Mabini? Sorry mga anak ko ha, dito ko na i-edit. Rizal. Ayan, and then this one is Rizal. Also. Ayan. So, 23% of the ODL class section is a lasa weight of which is equal or less than 14. Okay? So, kung 23% yan, ano naman yung mas mataas doon? So, 100 minus 23, you have 77. 77% of the ODL class may be Rizal. Bakit ba? Has a weight of which is equal or greater than what? Fourteen. Ayan na. So, yan na yung naging resulta ng ating statistical data. Now, ano ngayon yung pwede natin maging conclusion? Based on the results of the ODL class section Mabini, Rizal pala, sorry, teka lang. Ayan, ito na talaga. Conclusion and recommendation. Based on the results, the ODL class section result got a low BMI level because the average weight is below normal. Diba? Kung matatandaan ninyo, below normal yung naging average natin. Ang average natin ay... Ah, saan na? Sorry. Ang average natin ay 18.44. Ayan, diba? Which is... What? Nandito siya sa wasted. Okay? So, medyo mababa yung naging average nila. And there are 23% of the class who are severely wasted. Ayan yung na, ano natin, na-solve natin. Kasi, below 15, severely wasted na siya. So, siya yung kinuha natin. And, uh, ano yung recommendation natin? The advisor of the ODL grade 7 section result must prepare feeding program for the 23% of the class who weigh below 15. Okay, and then you find for the references, ito yung mga references na nakuha ko kasi ito yung uh, ginamit ko yung kanilang uh, data doon sa background of the study natin. Okay, so ito lang mga anak ko, sana natulungan ko kayo, pasensya na talaga ha, at ngayon lang. Pero sana mag-comment kayo dito sa ating comment section about your uh, reaction dito sa ginawa nating example ha. Alam nyo naman kung gaano kahalaga ang mga comment ninyo, kaya mag-comment kayo. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!